Hello everyone, welcome back to YouTube channel of this is NIT Agadala and today we are going to discuss problem maximize sum of four shape starter 104 if you haven't read the question I will explain you it once so basically you have been given an array A of n integers a1, a2, a3 up till a n and you can perform some operations on it and after performing some operations you need to perform those operations in such a way that some of these elements some of all the elements should be maximum uh, so some should be maximum so now what kind of operation you can do you can select two indexes l and r and after that after selecting two indexes l and r what you can do is every element present between l and r you can change that to minimum of ai comma ar al comma ar so basically if i take l as 1 and r as 4 so basically if i take first and fourth index now every element present between them i will replace them with minimum of a1 comma a4 so that's that's that are the operation and at the end you just have to perf at the end you just have to output the maximum sum of the array after performing zero or infinite number or any number of operations so while i was thinking while i was attempting this question in contest I was thinking about uh, why don't we make why don't we look for largest element and second largest element and let's work around that but there was a problem if they both are really close to each other then no elements will be near no elements will be between them and then it won't work but then I did some observation now I will show you that so first one is let's take an array only so how about we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now can we do some modifications? Uh, can we do some operations to make it some more than 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5? Uh, let's see. If I take L as 1 and R as 3. Can I then what will 2 become? It will become minimum of 1 comma 3 which is 1. So my sum will be reduced because it will become 1, 1, 3, 4, 5. Uh, so you can see if I take any two pair. If I take any two pair, let's say two and five, then these two will become minimum of two comma five, which is which will become one two two five. Then I just can't I just can't make this uh, I just can't make this sum as more. Now what if I do this instead of three comma four I keep here four four and three. Now what I can do is I can observe that yeah this can I can make this as four if I choose L as four and R as five. Then I can keep that 3 as minimum of 4 comma 5 which is 4. Now if there are many elements like between this 1, 2, 3, 4, anything. Now these all can become 4. Yeah, these all can become 4. Uh, so yeah, I can modify this. So you can observe what I did here was uh, how our answer will look like. It will be 1, 2, 4 and this everything will become 4, right? So 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 5. Now what if there are some elements here too? 2, 3, 1, 4. Now what will happen here? I can take I can take 3, 3 and 5 and make this as 3. Or I can take I can also take 4 and 5 and make all of them as 4 right so basically I can make all of them as 4 4 4 4 4 so if you observe what I did was if you observe carefully see so this is my corrected answer this, this is my final answer so how will you reach this array to this array so first thing you need to find is uh, Okay, I will show you then you will know what is happening exactly happening here. So Just see from starting index to that current index. What is maximum element? It's one over here Now my current index is two current index is this one from starting to current. What is maximum element two? So I kept two here from starting to current maximum element is four. So I kept four here from starting to current My maximum element is four. So I kept here four again. So like here also four 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 up till here four and then this element came five now i can keep doing that for up to this also because then 
here five will come which is just not possible so what i will do is i will do same thing from behind so like what is maximum element from end to current index it's four so i write four here what is maximum element from end to this one index it's four here so again four so what is maximum element index element from end to this index it is four again this four so i write i wrote here four again so you have to do this thing up till this this thing but what exactly is this thing so if you observe if i make this as six if i make this as six so so i will just keep doing this till six only from i will keep the front doing front operation for up till six so like now maximum value from from this till this is five so five again and here also five here also five and now here at six so yeah so now this point is my current that point transition point so what exactly is this point so basically this is maximum largest largest value uh so yeah that transition point is largest value so if that transition point exists here says so like eight here so basically this is the maximum value eight now now this is the transition point now you have to do that operation from first till here and then from then you would you have to do same thing from behind so yeah it will look like six 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 uh if you didn't understand the approach i will show you with the simpler example so yeah so the keynote was just see uh, check the transition point so my i will store the index of the maximum element uh, largest element now see this example okay this problem problem was basically more of observation so uh, yeah just check out this example now what if i took my array as 12639178 okay now what its answer should look like uh, i can do i can take this as 6 and l r as 9 so 1 2 6 this will become 6 6 9 and now I can take L as 9 and R as 8 and this will become minimum of 9 comma 8 so 8 8 8 now how to reach now how to reach from uh, this index to this array so basically you are, what you have to do is just find the transition point like the maximum element this 9 now I will do uh, an operation from here to here and then from here to here now what kind of operation is that i will just keep storing maximum element from 0 to current element so like 1 will be stored here one will be stored here and then from 0 to this index 2 is maximum element so 2 will be stored here from 0 to this index 6 is the maximum element so 6 will be stored here from 0 to this index 6 is maximum element so 6 will be stored here 6 will be stored here again and then I won't move further I won't move further I will keep 9 as it is and then I will check from behind so from final from behind to this element 8 is maximum element from behind to this index from end to this index again 8 is maximum element so I will keep 8 here from here to here again 8 is maximum element so i will keep 8 here again so you see uh this is the our final answer so all you need to do is just find the maximum element store it index this will be our transition point and do just keep storing the maximum element from start till that transition point and then do the same thing from behind so yeah that's pretty much the problem all you need to do was this only now I will show you the implementation part in the code. Uh, so when I was attempting this problem in the contest, I made little bit complex, uh, complex code. But you don't need to do that. So what I did was I did same thing but just in more complex way. So I stored my entire elements in V1. So I stored this in V1, 
and i made pairs okay i made pair of that element comma its index so this v2 will store that current element comma its index and then i sorted v2 and then i sorted v2 and then i reversed it so like my largest element will be at the front v20 and index of the largest element will be at v20 dot second so that will be my transition point so yeah i will just keep performing the operation and how we will do that you need to store maximum element from 0 to that transition point right so let's just store first element as v10 only let's just store this element as v1 so make a variable store the first uh, first value in it and when you will move when you will move from the here to transition point just keep storing the previous maximum value you found and then uh, also keep updating it so my max one will be uh, max of max one comma the current index i am seeing and i will keep updating the current index with maximum value previous maximum value now just do the same thing from behind till the transition point and after that just uh, just do, uh, calculate the sum of entire index and just print it this accumulate function just find the sum of uh, your vector so that was pretty much it uh this problem was more of observation and yeah if you have any doubt in understanding this problem or something just comment down below uh so yeah uh, thank you so much